from the sneaker conversation. Um, so it was so for all the people because um, I, I, I you know I don't want to say I call it heat, but you know, I called a you know a little something niggas like yeah them joints is fire like all right that just tells that just shows me like you ain't really about this sneaker culture like the niggas that the niggas that didn't kind of mm-hmm. sent little subtle jabs and shots to right, me like right. oh you hating like nah let's be let's be very clear them sneakers are garbage <laughs> on, on a design level I, I don't know what they are as far as performance level and it seems right. like under armor's they been, look like something my wife would wear at work well, in the hospital, I wouldn't put that on <laughs> Debbie. I love, I love, I, love, I, I wouldn't. Do I, that. I wouldn't either. <laughs> but they look like some orthopedic type shoes. They, I mean, they, they, they really do. I mean, it, it looks very plain. And 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 as I said last week, if you're Under Armour, and you know you're selling these shoes, and look, a, a good example can be made out of the picture that I posted on Instagram with Tom Brady rocking the shoes. If kids see that and they say, oh, Tom Brady's rocking it, let me go get a pair of them fire joints. It, yeah. You know, it, uh, it happens. It happens. I'm, I'm, I'm interested uh, yeah. to see. I'm interested to see how much this sneaker sells. I'm, I'm, I'm just interested to see how this, from a financial standpoint, takes a turn. You're listening to Trey and Maestro on the Barbershop Sports Talk podcast. Uh, It's time to get into our little segment we like to call things that irritated us this past week. So, uh, so Maestro, I I got a good one for you, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know the show Shaq and the Fool on uh, NBA TV? So, obviously, for those that aren't hip with the show, uh, Shaquille O'Neal does his show like once a week during the NBA season where... They take clips of games throughout the season and they point out bad plays. You know, whether it's a player, whether it's a coach, whether it's a fan, they point out a lot of little bloopers out of, you know, certain games and stuff. Yeah. So, as I'm watching this episode, and I didn't watch the entire episode, but I got to the point where Shaq took a compilation of James Harden plays. And now... We all know James Harden is, you know, one of the top ten players in the game of basketball today. Yeah. We all know he's a horrific defender. But, Maestro, after watching this compilation of plays, it just disgusts the hell out of me that this dude is just that bad of a defender. Like, there was one play where the dude shot it, and, you know, Harden's on defense. The dude shot it, and he's just standing there, and the ball's coming to him, and the dude just jumps in front of him and grabs the ball. It's like, dude, like, like you right there. Like, you, you showed no motion towards getting that rebound. And here's another play where I think it was Steph. I, I, I can't remember if it was Steph or somebody else, mm-hmm. but dude blew right by him going down the lane for easy layup. And Harden just like it, it, it's 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 one thing where you give an effort and you still get burnt on a play, yeah. but it's another thing where you just don't have no motion at all, not even trying to you know put a hand up, you know put a hand down or the, things like that. And that was what my point was going to be. Um, he don't want to play defense. I don't. I don't think somebody that's that talented athletically. Is just that bad at defense. What I believe is, is that he just doesn't want to be good at playing defense. He doesn't care. He's he's so he's so good at offense that he don't feel like he gotta play defense. That's what I truly think. Right. I, right. I, I like I've literally watched plays and, and some of them plays that you were talking about. I remember mm-hmm. he would just like a guy would run past him. He would just like yeah. in, a, in a fast break set. He won't try to stop the ball enough. And he'll just let him run. He just let him, him run like, by. And it's like, it's not that you couldn't stop him. And I know you fast enough to stop him. Right. It's not, that's not the situation. So I had made up in my mind a long time ago that he just don't want to play defense. And, the, pro- and, and the, re- the problem is, is that they're going to pay him 
according to how much he can score, but he's always going to be a liability as long as he decides he does Doesn't not want to play, play defense. I don't believe that he can't play defense. I don't believe that. I believe he just doesn't want to. That just, uh, but, it, 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 man, it's just one thing, man, because you, you know in your mind that he doesn't play defense, but when Shaq, and Shaq was so brilliant at this, the compilation, I mean, there was at least five or six different shots that he had of James Harden just not putting the effort on defense. And really, it's it's enough to make you laugh. It's just enough to make you just sit back and just smile and be like, wow, like, this dude really just doesn't want to give it his all. But I'm irritated for that part, Maestro. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm also irritated at about this whole thing here. So when Shaq, at the end of the season, he picks, like, his MVP P for, you know, the most dumb plays, yeah. whatever. So, James Harden was the MVP for this season's, you know, of dumb plays on yeah. Shaq and a Fool. So, you mean to tell me you're a top 10 player, and you make it on this list of dumb plays with JaVale McGee, Kendrick Perkins, Otto Porter? Like, Really? Well, what irritates you? Does it like, irritate you that it, it, Shaq it, put it, it there? No, it oh, irritates okay, me that you, that you are a top that 10 Harden player okay. in the league yeah. and you are on a list on Shaq and a fool well, with be, these players. Well, let's be clear as the real wise. He was number one, you said? He was, you know, he was number one. Well, the real reason he was number one is because he was James Harden. It wasn't because James Harden had the worst plays, per se. It's because he was the most popular player in the game, in the, on the sure. list. You know, I don't. Sure, but I, it, no, it's. I agree with you in the fact that it's bad that James Harden even made the list. But once James Harden makes the list with Otto Porter's, Javale McGee's, and uh, whoever you noticed that was like you know Kendrick Perkins, that was obviously on the lower tier of you know. But but they don't just pick role players like when they're running these yeah, no, 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 no. plays I, I they that. pick stars and stuff they, they do yeah, all that they stuff pick, too. I, I get that they're fair yeah. I'm just talking about him being number one was solely based on the fact that he was James Harden and not oh. necessarily that it was the most boneheaded play oh my god you, so, you can't be on a list like that yeah <laughs> but that's James Harden's fault but I don't blame Shaq I blame James oh no 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 I'm not blaming Shaq yeah, 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 I'm not irritated you. at I Shaq I, I thought Shaq was brilliant yeah. with, with that episode Brilliant. Nice job by Shaq. Got you. What was good, man? All right, so what irritates me? So, non-sports. You know the alligator thing happened last week with the alligator. Um, oh, the two-year-old. Drag, dragging the two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, whatever, rest in peace. His body, whatever, whatever. Uh, I saw something on Facebook. I know all my what irritates me starts but I saw something on Facebook. There was a blanket of a gator... With a child in it, a picture. It was a meme. It was I don't, a meme? Know, I don't okay. know if it was a meme or if it was a real blanket or right, right. or whatever it was. That 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 really irritated me. That y'all felt like y'all that they're should. making fun of the situation. <laughs> yeah, that 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 that, that kind of irritated me. Um, yeah, I, I need to say something about that because yeah. um, I think once that story broke. And we found out the child had died, and rest in peace again. Yeah, and um, to the family. I think folks were starting to make comparisons to the gorilla incident, and once that took place, everybody was like, "Well, what about these parents or this kid?" Because remember, yeah. when the gorilla thing happened, everybody was questioning the parents, right. and oh, yeah. the parents is black, or oh, what the father do, what the mother yeah. do, and all that stuff. So we get to this incident, and. Nobody's called out the parents to this child. Well, and I'm not one of those people that are like, why this isn't happening. I'm just more like, it's sad that a two-year-old had to lose his life well, yeah, because, I agree of, with that. You know, because well, of this incident. How I understand the story is, first of all, they were in an area where they weren't supposed to be in. That's first and foremost. The yep. family was in an area where they weren't supposed to be in. Right. It happened, to my understanding, mm-hmm. the father attempted to fight the alligator. Right. You know, so... Much props for trying to make something happen. Uh, and my, and to my understanding, the mother, you know, did something to help. I, right. I don't remember exactly right. what the situation was. Right. And I think the difference, and, and I think that's kind of what the difference was, mm-hmm. is that they actually jumped in and tried to do something about it. And I, and I get it. I, and, and me, I'm not judging either one of the situations for whatever. A kid died. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, um, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. Or, and, or in a, or in other situation, a kid was in danger. Right. I don't right. truly care about. I don't truly care about the parents. That I, um, at least n- not I, right I away. I don't. And I know these people that are crying for more information don't care about the parents. I guess they just care about why is the media picking certain narratives to do this when. You do it to other situations. Yeah. I kind of understand that. I'm more like, hey, for this incident, it's a two-year-old. Rest in peace. You know, let the family grieve and move on about it. Yeah. It's done. It's done. Um, what else irritates me? Um, I, I'm in love with uh, Instagram at getitrose.com. The chick who... I was going to say, uh, Ronnie Rose. Ronnie Rose, who stared down or allegedly stared down Steph Curry with this look and all that. Uh, they caught her in a meme. With Kyrie? With Kyrie. Yes. Where it, was, <laughs> it, was, it looked like Kyrie walked away walked from away. her. And she has this look of, yep. oh, you, I can't believe you walked away from me. Mm-hmm. Um, leave this attractive young lady alone. Um, yeah, please. Leave her alone. Please. Um, she's fine, okay? We we know. We get it. And that's all we know about her is that she's fine. And that's, that's all, And she's a Warriors fan. Yeah. So she's at the game. And she's a model. I, I think yeah, I think yeah. her page says she's a model. Yeah, yeah she's a model. Stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And, you know, on her Instagram it says something to the effect of she went, she's, she goes to games. It's not just home games. She goes Season to games. Season ticket holder. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Leave this fine-ass woman alone. Um... Until she do something that's worth um, worth messing with her about, <laughs> if she get caught, you know, sucking a dick somewhere, um, true, that's her business. But if she get caught and gets on on on, in, you know, out in the internet, okay, she got caught. You know, in this area that you can't be getting caught. That's something that the that, that mess with her about. Right. The fact that she's at games looking good, leave her the hell alone. Please, <laughs> please just leave her alone. <laughs> Thirdly. Uh, RG3. Um, I think I saw this too. <laughs> they're teaching him how to th- uh, throw away. And apparently he's throwing footballs into people's yards. In his, like in his neighborhood? No, no. At the training facility. Oh, okay. The training facility is for some reason close by to people's oh, to okay. residences. To, okay. You know, where people so live. So people's backyards are probably separated by a fence that's on the other side. You got the practice field or something Some like way that. or another. Some way or another, when he's throwing the ball away, mm-hmm. it's going into people's yards. Now, I don't know how these people feel about it. I know if I was outside having a cookout because they was out there and I, you know, I wanted to watch while I was grilling mm-hmm. and a football hit my grill, I'd be pissed. And yeah. it's irritating to me because I'm just thinking about how I'm sitting, you know, in my backyard on my stained deck, flipping my burger, drinking my brandy or my Hennessy, more preferably my Hennessy. And, you know, a football hit my, hit my grill or hit my drink or hell, hits nowhere or but just scares comes, me. Or just comes in the yeah, yard, and period. And, scare, and, you know, like, and I don't see it or something and it scares me or it hits my child or, or it hits my window. Like, yeah. The, the fact that the football is targeted toward your yard, period. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need Cleveland, the football organization, to do better. I'm sure that he does not have to throw that football into people's yards. I would appreciate it for the city of Cleveland. I got um, a I got a solution for that, Maestro, because I've been to some of the area golf courses here in the area where you have residents' backyards that yeah. are separated and by these golf courses. And you put them high, yeah. high, you know, chain link fences up so yeah. that when these golf balls go a certain distance, they can only go as so as far as that fence. Right, right. Cleveland Browns, you might have to invest in and this I, chain link fence. You know fence, what's funny? Man. It's like when I read the story, it seemed like they were making it like, oh, this is a fun thing for the city of Cleveland. It's, it, you know, oh, because if, if it breaks a window... You know, this, I'm sure the city got enough money to cover it. No, well, it ain't the city; it's the organization, no, or the or even the organization. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's not fun. I don't. I'm sorry if I'm laying in my bed sleeping and a football go through my window. 
I don't care. I, I, I mean, I appreciate that you're paying for it because right. you should. Yeah, it ain't gonna change your emotion about it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't want you doing this. Um. So yeah, Cleveland, y'all, y'all, um, y'all definitely on one with that. I'd appreciate it, uh, RG three feet stop. And um, I know y'all fresh off an of NBA championship in the city of Cleveland. This, this, this just is not a good follow up for me. Nah, not at all. You listening to Trey?